least a general process. Yes, the ministry should be knowing that this is happening, and I don't understand. Well, if the ministry knows this is happening, then they should be having some kind of control of the pollution from going directly into the ground, wouldn't you think? Of course, everybody knows it. I'm going to go for a walk with a film on and just get a film of it all before sure. they they well, put a, put up... Took, yeah, you need to do that. It took them less than a week to put cameras and no trespassing signs up after our films here. On Park Street, it took them less than three days to go public with the information that after we did our film. Oh, okay. Three days later, they came forward with how much it's costing and how much over budget they were. They never came forward with that information until no, we... No, they know. Three days <laughs> later, Karen, they did that. It was quick. <laughs> you do your video, don't yes. me because I'm slow. I'm, I'm not that fast either, but I... <laughs> so as everybody could see, this is the contaminated waste site. It's left into the open to drain while people just live right over here. Now, I don't understand how they can make a hazardous waste site in a place that's not hazardous weight and people live here and it's allowed to rain so if they say these piles are not contaminated and it rains with these piles then that becomes contaminated this should all be at a hazardous waste site and as you can see signs saying April 8th heavy metal contaminants we could go all the way around this circle and see April 7th, heavy metal contaminants. God knows what's in here, because they actually put a sock around it. So, so what do you think would be in this circle? Oh my God, they could put a sock around here, but all the rest of the heavy metal contaminants are just left there, and what do you think this sock would do for anything? So here you go, huge amounts, not put in a waste site at all, but put here. And I don't understand how this could be managed by the Ministry of Environment with nothing underneath it to stop the drainage from happening. Remarkable things, people. And this is Happy Earth Day to Niagara Falls and the people of Niagara Falls from the city of Niagara Falls and how they take care of us. Because if you look too far away, there's Lococo's Fruit Market. <laughs> 100 meters away, Lococo's Fruit Market. On a lower altitude, which means water drains in that way. And by the way, the water that drains off of this property goes directly down Victoria Avenues to the Lady Falls. Because this is the way it goes. So here you have it, folks. A hazardous waste site managed by the ministry, apparently. So here we go. April 13th, heavy metal contamination. Signs all over the place, peeps. All over the place. So, I don't know. What do you think about this for Earth Day? How do you think this is for our city caring about your earth? Personally, I'm totally flabbergasted and disgusted. So here's my thing for Earth Day, people. When is the city going to start caring? When is the Ministry of Environment going to start caring? Look at how close houses are to this. People living on First Avenue, 2nd Avenue and 3rd Avenue, I would say, what would you say, 40 meters away, 30 meters away? Their ground is much lower than this ground. Where do you think the water goes? 